This is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. We set it inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 137 pounds. Fighting out of Nagoya, Japan, Russia. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now and go back to your home. So here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Wild swing there. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. There's no tell on that leg kick. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. 
right early round one here. Big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented jet. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's the taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's going to have to take something on the way inside. Nice slip to avoid the left. Big kick lands. You don't know when that leg keeps coming. And he landed the right hand there. What a body kick. Take the shot. Just a slip there. Going to the body there with the right kick. Effective strike there by Lee. Look at him drive his chin into his own body with that body kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Please kick attempt, that one was blocked. And a nice counter punch there as he continues to make good use of this advantage and reach. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there, very nice. Flush right hand is true. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Really strong leg kick there by Lee. Oh man, how is he standing? Brutal to the body. Oh man, he's a hard. Oh! Oh, nice, nice. He landed that knee to the midsection. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that one in the morning. And he's going to continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Not only will this affect his ability to stand, but he can't really set down on his punches, and he won't generate the power that he normally generates because he can't really get heavy on his leg. Over and over, he lands a big body kick. Oh, connects with the one-two. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Blocks that strike. Honing in on those counters. in a single collar tie. Big leg kick land. Nice kick. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Hard shots landing on both sides here. It's such a fast leg kick. Nice punch there. with that one. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. You ready? You ready? All right, round two. Well, it's not always easy being a counter striker, but when you can execute the style this effectively, 
it really is something to behold. You'll see he'll try to draw the opponent in here yet again. And as soon as his opponent strikes, he'll try to use that wayward offense against him and get back to his countering game that really has been the big story in this one thus far. Real quick leg kick. with that punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh, straight right. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. And they separate. Beautiful body kicks. Man, look at the redness now almost immediately on the right side of his body. What a tricky head kick. <gasps> Just misses there with the left. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Superman punch now. There's no give on that leg kick. Nice body kick. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Oh, strong punch there by Lee. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Beautiful head kick. And they separate. Right hand upstairs. Big body kick land. And there comes the separation now. Ooh, what a head kick. Oh, big punch land. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. his hip into that kick. Well, he absorbs a kick to the head here, left it wide open. He's got to not move into that power shot. Let's see if he can adjust. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, that's a nice strike. Then both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, big head kick lands. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Just missed with the left there. Big kick lands. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Round three next. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. Head kicks upon head kicks, man. I mean, 
Generally, you don't take this many head kicks. Right. You get one, and you go to sleep. But he's been able to withstand it. But I'm telling you, man, he takes one more, and he takes one more clean. His night's over. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Good punch. Punch coming, it's blocked. Trying to go to the body, but unable to connect. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. That was a nice strike. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Nice head kick. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Well, he works his entire striking game off of that jab. Doubles up on the jab now. Just over three minutes to go. Big kick land. Lee's head kick. This fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. You know, that, that's a big thing whenever you're blocking high kicks, man. You cannot just take the brunt of that kick on one arm. You have to get that cross arm to try and guide that kick so you don't take all of it. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Well, he has really started to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Real sneaky body kick. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Nice leg kick. All right, let's go. Get that right hand Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Punch over the top. Just misses with the straight right. Head kick. That oh, knee. big knee. That knee hurt him. Big kick. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Right under the elbow, the body is playing. Liver kick. He gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Let's take it home. Take it home. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high. And now he's got him hurt back. Big kick lands. Oh! And 
you hear the crowd react every time they come together because they understand the power that these guys are striking with. Maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. The left punch is true, now the right hand. Kick is good by Lee. Nice knee to the midsection there. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Lee's got a bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. Big punch land. Ooh. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Well-placed kick there by Lee. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. Beautiful strike. That combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate. When yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, oh he might be out. Whoa! Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. You've got to defend. You see him now start to gain posture. And the intensity at which he scored these ground strikes is starting to improve. He's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Big body Double kick. jab there by Lee. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Lee's shot is blocked. Single collar tie now. Big head kick lands. And now he's got that tie clinch. Big punch lands through the middle. Lee's got the tie clinch now. Still nice body kick lands. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Can't take many of those, you better check. Back and forth we go. Tommy shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Let's go, you can do this. Keep going forward. What a body kick. Oh! oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Hey, hey, let's go. Get him off. Get him off. He 
been busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, he's back up again. You gotta like that. Well, to the left side. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Under a minute to go in round four. What a punch. Yeah, he mixed it all up. Caught that. No, there's danger in that too because when you start. Whoa! Oh. And just like that, the fight is over. Wow! Wow! I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So a big, big win for him here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So let's go inside the octagon now where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 29 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.